In this video, you're going to learn how to use the Facebook Ads Library, now known as the Meta Ads Library. Now, there are two ways you can access the Meta Ads Library. The easiest way is by doing a Google search, which takes you through to the homepage of the Meta Ads Library, or you can enter into your search bar, facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library, and this will take you to the Ad Library homepage as well. Now that now that we're here, let's jump in. The first thing that we need to understand about the ad library is it allows you to see all of the active ads which are currently running on Facebook and Instagram at this point in time, and also the ads which your competitors are running so you can get inspiration for what ads are effective as well as what ads are ineffective. So the first thing that we need to do is go down to the search bar section. We can see on the left hand side that there is an all default right now with a drop down button. If we zoom out and click on the drop down here, we can select a country in which we want to see different ads. As I am based here in New Zealand, I'm going to select the current location, New Zealand. You can also enter it into the search bar if you don't see your country appear straight away. And that will allow you to filter out ads based on the country which you want to see. After that, we want to go to the ad category section and we want to click on the drop down section. Now, as this is a beginner's tutorial, we are simply going to select all ads because those are the ads we want to see running for anything. From here, we now can see that the search bar has highlighted and appeared. And from here, we want to search in a keyword search term that is relevant to what we want to see ads for. So in this example, let's look for ads about digital marketing. I am just entering in a keyword search phrase. I am not looking for a particular advertiser at this time. So let's press enter. And what is going to happen now is we can see the ads which are Based around the keyword search digital marketing, we can see up here that there are 1,600 results approximately for that. And if we zoom down, we can currently see some of the recent ads which have been published. Now, if we go in and have a look at the different things here, we can see where the ad is currently being shown based on the little icon here. So. The ad is currently running on Facebook, Instagram, and the audience network as well. We can see that the ad is active, and we can see that it began to run on the 19th of August, 2024. So these are relatively new ads, and let's say, now if you are wanting to search a particular competitor of yours, for example, we just will go back to the homepage, and I'll show you how to do it easy peasy. The first thing is just follow the same process as last time, select all ads, and instead of typing in a keyword this time round, type in one of your competitors. Once you have entered your competitor's name, you will see the advertisers for them appear on the search results underneath. In this example, we have entered Russell Brunson, and this is the page which is running the ads which we want to have a look at. So we are going to click on that. And what you are now going to see is just the ads which this particular page is running at this point in time. Now, if you want to begin filtering out this data by something specific, we can go over to the filter section on the right hand side, or we can enter in a keyword. So for example, if we want to find ads which are related to business, we can just enter the keyword business, and this is going to reduce the number of ads down to just ones which talk about business. And now we come over to the really awesome part of the Facebook Meta Ads Library, which is the filter section. I have just clicked on it, and this now provides us with a chance to narrow down the ads which this particular page is running based on certain parameters. Now the most simple filter you can choose from here 
is the active status. If you only want to see the active ads which the particular page is running right now, you can select active ads and then apply that filter. And this is going to narrow down all of the inactive ads and only show you the active ads which are currently running on this page. If you want to narrow that down further, for example, and let's just say that you only want to have uh, media which is videos, you can click on videos and this is then going to allow you to apply a second filter for this particular page. Now we can see just the video based ads which are currently active and running. One thing that you might find if you apply too many filters or try to get too specific and technical, so for example, we select one filter, you may find that no ads match your search criteria. All you need to do on that is reapply the previous settings and you'll be able to see some of the ads begin to appear again. And that's how easy it is to get started with using the Meta Ads Library. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Have a fantastic day, everybody.